Good day. Uh, this video is about how to fill in uh, an easy HR registration form. Okay, so the first step is to go to the website. So click, click the, the URL and then type in easyhrnam.org to go to the website for easy HR. HR stands for human resources. So there's the website. We click on FAQ. Um, then there it says, How do I get an application form? That is where you're going to click. And we want the editable version, so we're going to click here for the Word document. And it's going to open up there. You can click to save, or but in this case, we can simply just click open. And then the program or the data file will open up. Please make sure that you have Microsoft Word installed on your computer system um, in order for you to be able to edit the Word document. Okay, so as it opens up, uh, we'll just uh, make it an ed editable version. So click on that and there's the application form that opens up. Okay. The first section obviously is to put in your ID number. Okay, so we go to ID number there. So we have a, an example there. Uh, please make sure you put in the correct ID number. It's very important. Then you put in your surname. So for example, my surname is and my first name is Frank Horse. Okay. Nickname. You don't have to fill it that fill that in, but you can put in the techie. My title is Mr. Obviously you have all the different options, Miss, Mrs. and so on. And then you put in gender there. Please write it in full, male. And then we put our date of birth. Uh, okay. Or you can simply go to 1977. Okay. Uh, citizen, citizenship. Uh, you can just put the South of Lunch. Nationality, Libyan, uh, driver's license, code 8, code 08, um, transport, who, uh, do you have your own transport, yes or no, it's your option, do you have any criminal offenses, I can simply say none, if you do, please don't, don't wait for us to find out, uh, would be appreciate it if you are honest when we put in our disabilities yes uh, in a wheelchair for example if you are disabled and then your marital status either married divorced single and so on okay how many kids do you have you can put in there five uh, when can you start work simply say immediately you decide or put a date there uh, so phone number and put my cell phone number there 264 8122 okay please make sure that you put in the correct cell phone number if you don't have one you simply type not applicable with a slash but if you do have a number please put it in there uh, if you have a landline put it in there if you don't have one simply type not applicable okay you can put a peer box in there okay. put in the residential address line one so you can put in um, city support moons Okay, uh, okay, right. 
soon you can tell you the country where you can where you're from are you willing to relocate yes for the job that you're looking for um, then you look for regions willing to work I can put in the commerce region commerce region Oshana okay then you can put your email in there voice123 at gmail.com home address I'm oh, sorry home language um, I can put there Tamara Herero Bamboo any language that you speak at home and your second language say for instance English which is the second language uh, name of last school so command secondary school okay what city was that so command maybe yeah okay mm. completed date December 2 1989 okay that's the year that you finished your grade 12 probably okay um, highest standard that would be grade 12 of course what is your first language in that situation that would be English second language would be Afrikaans you decide please be honest because you will need your, your documents as well for that uh, to look at your documents and verify that you had those uh, subjects okay other subjects mathematics um, biology and then we have geography then maybe physics okay usually the six subjects so just tell us what that subjects are okay then maybe your tertiary qualification University of Namibia okay um, Namibia okay starting date February 1990 straight out of high school okay and then you ended when 1994 it's four years qualification title bachelor degree in human resources management okay then your course the course name business management okay all this information is available on your uh, degree okay and then additional qualifications if you have nothing you can just simply not applicable and if you have additional qualifications please state it here and then current if you are currently studying then you specify no okay then if you have any vocational training or work related courses say for instance VIP payroll okay then the course name B1 basic training course okay which date was this March 2015 okay now you see that I've abbreviated it you can abbreviate it so if you want you can write it in full that's to you okay then we have some qualification some computer skills are you computer literate if you are just put an X there for me please uh, okay then do you have any knowledge of Windows just put an X for me there uh, MS Word yes Excel, yes. Word perfect, perhaps yes. Uh, PowerPoint, no knowledge of access, so I'm going to leave that open. Typing, yes. Outlook, uh, and so on. Okay, so basically, what we're saying is if you have any of this, if you don't have, don't put it next there. Okay, if you have no skills whatsoever in that regard, then just leave it open. Okay, 
and if there's anything else you can always specify there uh, some programming or any other thing that you think uh, is part of computer skills right self induct introduction uh, personal attributes uh, well like I said if it m if it matches then you just specify experience working without uh, supervision I have that experience uh, working as part of uh, as part of a team yes experience working with deadlines yes experience working under pressure yes other than that perhaps you can just leave that uh, like I said only if it is applicable will you put an X there okay so I put in that information there reliable flexible everything okay then we move on down company name uh, easy human resources management Alright, this is your company, your employment. Uh, where did you last work? So, put that in there. Where is it? Situated and when were you there? When did you start there? February 2019. Okay, so watch out for the spelling there. Then you have finishing date uh, August. 2019. Okay. If you have, if you don't, then you, you leave it there uh, blank. Uh, like you can put in actually not applicable, but okay. Your job title. What was your job title there? Resources officer. Okay. Uh, department. Human resources. Okay. Job description. Uh, Say for instance, you put in the bullet there, recruitment and selection process. Okay, mm, can say drew up employment, drew up employment contact and all. You can just mention all your duties, everything there. Uh, I'm not going to go into that and complete that. Uh, obviously, you know what your duties are or your job description was. Uh, what was the reason for ending? Uh, just give us a good reason because remember, we will have to follow up. Uh, contract, end of contract. You can. Uh, employment history previous. Uh, can just leave that open, not applicable if you are working anywhere before that. Uh, employment here, another one as well, just mentioned that as well. I'm going to leave that as well because I, I do not work anywhere else, for instance. Okay. Um, so you'll see that this is specially repeating, so it's just in case you've worked anywhere else. Okay. Then additional information uh, anything else you want to add you can add it there okay present occupation right now I am human, an o human officer uh, if I'm working somewhere else at the moment and I want to leave so I just need to be honest here okay then it says ideal industry I, I don't mind any if there is any then just indicate that you can work anywhere uh, current salary latest is 15,000 alright dollars can ok if you desire what is your desire salary so you mentioned there what is it that you 
think you deserve now. Okay. And then we can say perhaps you can just add the negotiable so that we can actually negotiate. Maybe we can go lower than that or higher. You never know. Okay. Uh, total months, years, work experience. Uh, let's say six months. Okay. Ideal job. Obviously, this is what you want to apply for or what you need. Resources or administration. These are options, so you can just specify there. Uh, what do you want? Do you want a project based or part time? So I suggest we go for full time. That's what you want, and then obviously permanent is ticked there already. Okay, but you can change it obviously, but you want to just say that. Right, then put some references there. Uh, Sylvia. Uh, okay, this is just my last employer. Okay. So they can actually tell us, tell you everything about me. So, everything, or they can actually verify that. I was actually working at Human Resources Management and Services. Okay, you can put the contact details there. Uh, okay, so I prefer we put in the area code. So, let's say 474 Okay, there are other people that can verify everything. Okay, and then obviously once we are done with that, you can simply print the document, put in your signature, and scan that document, and then you can email it to email to email to info at easyhrm dot org. Okay. So please email this document and we will contact all the necessary parties and we'll get back to you about your registration. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website. Uh, don't forget www.easyhrnam.org Okay. Look, we, look, we are looking for it your business. Have a nice day.